Anne Hathaway, Wikipedia article audio. Anne Jacqueline Hathaway is an American actress and singer. One of the world's highest paid actresses in 2015, she has received multiple awards, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, a British Academy Film Award, and an Emmy. Her films have earned $6.4 billion worldwide, and she appeared in the Forbes Celebrity 100 in 2009. Hathaway graduated from Milburn High School in New Jersey, where she acted in several plays. As a teenager, she was cast in the television series Get Real, and made her breakthrough as the protagonist in her debut film, the Disney comedy The Princess Diaries. Hathaway made a transition to adult roles with the 2005 dramas Havoc and Brokeback Mountain. The comedy film The Devil Wears Prada, in which she played an assistant to a fashion magazine editor, was her biggest commercial success to that point. She played a recovering alcoholic in the drama Rachel Getting Married, which garnered her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. She followed this with roles in the commercially successful romantic films Bride Wars, Valentine's Day and Love and Other Drugs. Early Life Career In 2012, Hathaway starred as Selena Kyle in her highest-grossing film The Dark Knight Rises, the final installment in the Dark Knight trilogy. That year, she also played Fantine a prostitute dying of tuberculosis, in the musical romantic drama Les Miserables, for which she earned multiple accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She went on to play a scientist in the science fiction film Interstellar, the owner of an online fashion site in the comedy film The Intern and the White Queen a role she first played in Alice in Wonderland in Alice Through the Looking Glass. Hathaway has also sung for soundtracks, won an Emmy for providing her voice in The Simpsons, appeared on stage and hosted events. Hathaway supports several charities and causes. A board member of the Lollipop Theatre Network, an organization that brings films to sick children in hospitals, she advocates gender equality as a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador. She is married to businessman Adam Schulman, with whom she has a son. Anne Jacqueline Hathaway was born in the Brooklyn borough of New York City on November 12, 1982. Her father, Gerald, is a labor attorney, and her mother, Kate, is a former actress. Hathaway's maternal grandfather was WIPM Philadelphia radio personality Joe McCauley. Kate is of Irish descent, and Gerald is of Irish, French, English, and German ancestry. Hathaway's surname originates in England. Hathaway, named after Shakespeare's wife, was six years old when her family moved to Milburn, New Jersey, where she grew up. She is the second of three children, with two brothers, one older, Michael, and one younger, Thomas. At age six, when Hathaway watched her mother perform in Les Miserables as Fantine, she instantly became fascinated with the stage, but her parents were not keen on allowing her to pursue an acting career. After this, Kate quit acting to raise Hathaway and her brothers. Hathaway was raised as Roman Catholic with what she considers really strong values, and stated that she wished to be a nun during her childhood, but acting was always a high priority for her. At the age of 15, her relationship with the Catholic Church changed, after learning that Michael was gay. Her family left the church due to its intolerance of homosexuality, converting to Episcopalianism, but left that too. In 2009, Hathaway stated that her religious beliefs are a work in progress. 
Hathaway attended Brooklyn Heights Montessori School and Wyoming Elementary School in Milburn. She graduated from Milburn High School, where she played soccer and participated in many plays, including Once Upon a Mattress, in which she portrayed Winifred. Later, she appeared in plays, including Jane Eyre and Gigi, at New Jersey's Paper Mill Playhouse. She studied at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1993, and was the first teenager admitted into the Barrow Group Theatre Company's acting program. She spent several semesters studying as an English major and political science minor at Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, New York, before transferring to New York University's Gallatin School of Individualized Study. She has stated that she would have either become an English teacher or psychologist if she were not acting. 2001-2004, Debut and Breakthrough Between 1998 and 1999, Hathaway sang soprano with the All Eastern U.S. High School Honors Chorus at Carnegie Hall and in plays at Seton Hall Preparatory School in West Orange, New Jersey. At the start of her film career, her acting style and beauty were compared to the likes of Judy Garland whom she cites as one of her favorite actresses and Audrey Hepburn. Three days after her performance at Carnegie Hall, Hathaway was cast in the short-lived Fox television series Get Real. The series follows the dysfunctional Green family. Hathaway played the teenager Megan Green alongside John Tenney, Deborah Ferentino, and Jesse Eisenberg. Despite her early success, Hathaway suffered from depression and anxiety as a teenager, she says she has since grown from it. She missed her first college semester for the filming of her cinematic debut The Princess Diaries. She says she never regretted not finishing her degree as she enjoyed being with others who were trying to grow up. The comedy The Princess Diaries and the adventure drama The Other Side of Heaven, both 2001 Disney films, featured Hathaway in lead roles. Based on Meg Cabot's 2000 novel of the same name, the former follows a teenager who discovers that she is the heir to the throne of the fictional kingdom of Genovia. Hathaway auditioned for the role during a flight layover on the way to New Zealand. Gary Marshall, the film's director, initially considered Liv Tyler for the role, but cast Hathaway after his granddaughters suggested that she had the best princess hair. The film became a major commercial success, grossing $165 million worldwide. Many critics praised Hathaway's performance, a BBC critic noted that Hathaway shines in the title role and generates great chemistry and the New York Times Elvis Mitchell found her to be royalty in the making, a young comic talent with a scramble of features. She earned a MTV Movie Award for Best Breakthrough Female Performance nomination for the role. Hathaway starred with Christopher Gorham in Mitch Davis's The Other Side of Heaven. Inspired by John H. Grauberg's memoir In the Eye of the Storm, the film met with mostly negative reviews and was a box office failure. 2005-2008, Transition to Adult Roles and Greater Success Owing to the success of The Princess Diaries, People magazine named Hathaway one of its breakthrough stars of 2001. In February 2002, Hathaway starred in the City Center Encores. Concert production of Carnival. In her New York City stage debut, she played Lily, an optimistic orphan who falls in love with a magician. Before rehearsing with the full cast, Hathaway trained with a vocal coach for two weeks. She memorized almost all of her lines and songs at the first read-through. Critics generally praised her for holding her own against well-known actors and heralded her as a new star. In a positive review for the musical, 
Charles Isherwood of Variety called Hathaway the highlight of the show and remarkably unaffected and winning, praising her convincing performance. She won a Clarence Derwent Award for Most Promising Female. Later, Hathaway voiced the audiobook release of the first three books in the Princess Diaries novels. Hathaway portrayed princesses and appeared in family-oriented films over the next three years, subsequently becoming known in mainstream media as a children's role model. After voicing Haru Yoshioka for the English version of The Cat Returns, she starred in Douglas McGrath's comedy drama Nicholas Nickleby, which opened to positive reviews. The Deseret News said that the cast was terrific. The film did not enter wide release and failed at the North American box office, totaling less than $4 million in ticket sales. The fantasy romantic comedy film Ella Enchanted, in which Hathaway played the titular character, also performed poorly at the box office. She first read the book the film is based on when she was 16, she says that the script was originally much closer to the book, but didn't work as a film, and therefore prefers the film the way it became. The film opened to mostly mixed reviews. Hathaway sang three songs on the film's soundtrack, including a duet with singer Jesse McCartney. In 2003, Hathaway declined the role for Joel Schumacher as The Phantom of the Opera, because the production schedule of the film overlapped with The Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement. Hathaway was initially hesitant and nervous about starring in the sequel, but agreed to it after Marshall convinced her that she was not repeating anything. The film was released in August 2004 to negative reviews, but made $95.1 million against a $40 million budget. 2009-2011, Romantic Films and Hosting Events In a 2008 article, Hathaway said that anybody who was a role model for children needs a reprieve, but noted that it's lovely to think that my audience is growing up with me. To avoid getting typecast, she began taking on adult roles. After replacing Tara Strong for the voice role of Red Pucket in Hoodwinked, she starred in the drama Havoc as a spoiled socialite, appearing nude in some of its scenes. Although film was thematically different from her previous films, Hathaway denied that her role was an attempt to be seen as a more mature actress, citing her belief that doing nudity in certain films is merely a part of what her chosen form of art demands of her and because of that belief she does not consider appearing nude in appropriate films to be morally objectionable. The film was not released in theaters in the United States due to unfavorable critical reception. 2012-2014, Les Miserables and Films with Christopher Nolan Hathaway starred alongside Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal in Ang Lee's drama Brokeback Mountain. The film depicts the emotional and sexual relationship between two married men, Ennis and Jack, Hathaway played Jack's wife. She was originally sent the script with the role of Alma, Ennis' wife, but decided to audition for Lurayan once she read the screenplay. During her audition, Hathaway lied to Lee about her knowledge of horse riding so he would cast her. She subsequently took horse riding lessons. The film received positive reviews from critics and several Academy Award nominations. Peter Traverse of Rolling Stone believed that Hathaway excels at showing Lurayan's journey from cutie pie to hard case, and Todd McCarthy of Variety opined she provides an entertaining contrast in wifely disappointment. Hathaway later stated that the content of the film was more important than its award count and that making it made her more aware of the kind of stories she wanted to tell as an actress. At that point, 
she realized that she wanted to play roles to move her audiences or otherwise entertain them so much that they forget about their own lives. 2015 Present, The Intern and Beyond In 2006, she starred in David Frankel's comedy film The Devil Wears Prada, as an assistant to the powerful fashion magazine editor Miranda Priestley, played by Meryl Streep. Hathaway said that working on the film made her respect the fashion industry a great deal more than she had previously, though she claimed that her personal style is something she still can't get right. The actress also stated that she and CO star Emily Blunt got so hungry on their weight loss regimen for the film it made them cry. To prepare for the role, Hathaway volunteered for a few weeks as an assistant at an auction house. The film received positive reviews, Roger Ebert called Hathaway a great beauty who makes a convincing career girl and Rotten Tomatoes found Streep in top form and Anne Hathaway more than holding her own. The Devil Wears Prada became Hathaway's biggest commercial success to this point, grossing more than $326.5 million worldwide. Hathaway was cast in Knocked Up but dropped out before filming began and was replaced by Katherine Heigl. According to writer-director Judd Apatow, this happened because Hathaway was uncomfortable with the use of real footage of a woman giving birth, Hathaway believed it did not contribute to the film's story. Her only release in 2007 was the biographical romantic drama Becoming Jane, as the titular English author Jane Austen. A fan of Austen since she was 14, Hathaway prepared for the role by rereading Austen's books and conducting historical research, such as perusing the author's letters. She also learned sign language, calligraphy, dance choreography, and the piano. She moved to England a month before production began to improve her English accent. The film received mixed reviews from critics. Some reviewers negatively focused on Hathaway's performance and accent. Regardless, Hathaway received a British Independent Film Award for Best Actress nomination for the film. Personal Life and Other Work In October 2008, Hathaway hosted the NBC late-night sketch comedy Saturday Night Live. She also starred in Peter Siegel's film adaptation of Mel Brooks' television series Get Smart, in which she played Agent 99, a role she describes as narcissistic downright selfish. Considering the role to be a childhood dream come true, Hathaway learned martial arts and dancing techniques in preparation. While filming an action sequence, Hathaway split the flesh of her shin to the bone, which led to her receiving 15 stitches. The film, centering on an analyst who dreams of becoming a real field agent and a better spy, was a financial success. Hathaway's following film, the American-Canadian mystery thriller Passengers alongside Patrick Wilson, was a critical and commercial failure. She then starred with Deborah Winger in Rachel Getting Married as Kim, a young woman, who after being released from drug rehabilitation, returns home for her sister's wedding. Rachel Getting Married premiered at the 2008 Venice and Toronto International Film Festivals and Hathaway garnered widespread acclaim for her performance. Peter Traverse called Hathaway raw and riveting as Kim and added that she acts the hell out of it, achieving a state of sorrowful grace. Hathaway's performance garnered nominations for an Academy Award for Best Actress and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress Drama. Hathaway starred in Bride Wars, which she described as hideously commercial gloriously so. The romantic comedy in which she and Kate Hudson played two best friends who become rivals after their weddings are scheduled on the same day, was a critical failure, it was named among the ten worst chick flicks of all time by time in 2010. 
Despite this, the film was successful financially and earned Hathaway an MTV Movie Award for Best Female Performance nomination. She played the heroine Viola in a summer 2009 production of Twelfth Night at the Delacorte Theatre in New York City. Charles Isher would opine that Hathaway dives smoothly and with obvious pleasure into the embrace of a cohesive ensemble cast. For her interpretation of the role, she garnered a nomination for the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Actress in a Play. In 2010, she also won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Voiceover Performance for providing her voice for the episode Once Upon a Time in Springfield in The Simpsons. Hathaway voiced different characters in Family Guy in 2010 and 2011. In 2010, Hathaway appeared as a receptionist who dates a clerk in the ensemble romantic comedy Valentine's Day, directed by Gary Marshall. The film was a commercial success, grossing more than $215 million worldwide against a budget of $52 million. Hathaway played the White Queen in Tim Burton's 2010 adaptation of the fantasy novels Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass alongside Helena Bonham Carter and Johnny Depp. She summed up her character with a caption on a magnet of Happy Bunny holding a knife, cute but psycho. Things even out. Hathaway described her interpretation of the White Queen as a punk rock vegan pacifist, drawing inspiration from Debbie Harry and the artwork of Dan Flavin. Alice in Wonderland received mixed reviews from critics, who praised its visuals, but criticized its lack of narrative coherence. Commercially, the film grossed $1 billion to become the second highest grossing movie of 2010. Hathaway starred as a free-spirited artist suffering from Parkinson's disease in Edwards Wick's erotic romantic comedy drama Love and Other Drugs, based on the non-fiction book Hard Sell, The Evolution of a Viagra Salesman by Jamie Reedy. For the role, Hathaway spent time with a Parkinson's patient to research the disease. Preparing for the film's nude scenes, she watched the work of the actresses Kate Winslet and Penelope Cruz who, in her opinion, have done nudity with sensitivity and dignity. Hathaway believed that these scenes would not discourage socially conservative people from watching the film. Critics generally praised the film's adult romance but were unenthusiastic about its plot elements. Hathaway's performance, which Ebert called warm, lovable, earned her a Satellite Award and a nomination for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress Comedy or Musical. Together with actor Denzel Washington, Hathaway hosted the Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo, Norway in December 2010. Two months later, she and James Franco hosted the 83rd Academy Awards. Critics were unenthusiastic about their chemistry, but thought Hathaway gave her best and did a better job than Franco, who they felt seemed uninterested. In 2011, Hathaway voiced Jewel, a Spix's macaw from Rio de Janeiro, in the animated film Rio, produced by 20th Century Fox and Blue Sky Studios. The film received generally positive reviews from film critics, who praised the visuals, voice acting and music. A commercial success, it grossed more than $484 million worldwide against a budget of $90 million. Later, Hathaway starred alongside Jim Sturgis in Lone Scarefig S. One Day, based on David Nichols' 2009 novel of the same name. The film tells the story of two young people who meet 20 years after they shared a one-night stand together. Hathaway was clandestinely given the script, as One Day was set in the UK, and Scarefig was not looking for any American actresses for the part. 
After a non-productive meeting with Scarefig, Hathaway left a list of songs for her, who after listening to them, cast the actress for the part. In an interview with Peter Traverse, Hathaway said she might have inadvertently encouraged misogyny as she did not trust Scarefig as a director, which she felt was because of her gender. Hathaway's Yorkshire accent in the film was considered subpar. Columnist Suzanne Moore, reviewing the film on BBC Radio 4's Front Row, said Hathaway's accents were all over the shop, adding, Sometimes she's from Scotland, sometimes she's from New York, you just can't tell. The film itself received polarized reviews from critics, but became a moderate box office success. In the media In 2012, Hathaway's audiobook recording of L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Ounce was released at Audible.com and garnered her a nomination for an Audi Award for Best Solo Narration Female. Later in 2012, Hathaway played Sly, morally ambiguous cat burglar Selena Kyle in The Dark Knight Rises, Christopher Nolan's final installment in the Dark Knight trilogy. Hathaway auditioned not knowing what role she was being considered for, admitting that she had one character in mind, but only learned her role after talking with Nolan for an hour. She described the role as being the most physically demanding she had ever played, as she had to redouble her efforts in the gym to keep up with the requirements of the role. Hathaway trained extensively in martial arts for the role, and looked to Hedy Lammer in developing her role as Catwoman. The Dark Knight Rises received a positive critical response and grossed more than $1.085 billion worldwide, becoming the third highest grossing film of 2012. A review published in IGN wrote of her magnetic presence, adding, Hathaway imbues her with a wounded spirit and a survivor's edge that makes her feel genuine and sympathetic. Hathaway won the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance. Works and Accolades Hathaway played Fantine, a prostitute dying of tuberculosis, in Tom Hooper's film Les Miserables, which was based on the musical of the same name. Footage of Hathaway singing I Dreamed a Dream, a song from the film, was shown at Cinemakin in April 2012. Hooper described Hathaway's singing as raw and real. Preparing for the role, Hathaway consumed fewer than 500 calories a day to lose 25 pounds, researched prostitution, and cut her hair. To get into the character's mental space alone during filming in London, Hathaway sent her husband back to the U.S., this resulted in her becoming increasingly temperamental. Christopher Orr from The Atlantic wrote that Hathaway gives it everything she has, beginning in quiet sorrow before building to a woebegone climax, she gasps, she weeps, she coughs. Anne Hornaday of the Washington Post wrote that the centerpiece of a movie composed entirely of centerpieces belongs to Anne Hathaway, who as the tragic heroine Fantine sings another of the memorable numbers. For the film, Hathaway won an Academy, a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild and a BAFTA Award for Best Supporting Actress. Asked if she was pleased with her performance in the film, Hathaway expressed doubts, replying with it. In January 2013, Hathaway's rendition of I Dreamed a Dream reached number 69 on the Billboard Hot 100. After briefly appearing in the romantic comedy Don John, Hathaway starred in and CO produced Song One. In the drama film, she played an anthropology student who returns home to see her injured brother, Henry, a musician, and soon begins a romantic relationship with his favorite musician, James Forrester. Hathaway's character was initially written as 19 years old, but Kate Barker-Froyland, 
the film's writer and director, changed the part to that of an older woman after Hathaway was cast. Hathaway says that the reason she decided to produce the film was because of its depiction of the healing power of music and second chances. For the film's soundtrack, she provided her voice for the song Afraid of Heights. Song 1 premiered in the U.S. Dramatic Competition at the 30th Sundance Film Festival in January 2014, and released in theaters the following year to mixed reviews from critics. Commercially, the film failed to recover its $6 million budget. Hathaway reprised her role as Jewel in the animated film Rio to her third film with Jamie Foxx which was released in 2014. It grossed about five times more than its $103 million budget. Hathaway's only live-action film in 2014 was Christopher Nolan's epic science fiction film Interstellar. Set in a dystopian future where humanity is struggling to survive, the film follows a group of astronauts who travel through a wormhole in search of a new home for humanity. With a budget of $165 million, the high-profile production, CO starring Matthew McConaughey and Jessica Chastain, was filmed mostly using IMAX cameras. Hathaway was drawn to her character's growth from an arrogant to a humbler person. While filming a water scene in Iceland, Hathaway almost suffered hypothermia because the dry suit she was wearing had not been properly secured. Critics for The Independent and Empire wrote that she was affecting as a scientist unable to decide between her professional responsibilities and her feelings and played it with soulful nuance. Interstellar which earned more than $675 million worldwide, earned Hathaway a nomination for a Saturn Award for Best Actress. Hathaway began 2015 with an appearance in the first season of the musical reality show Lip Sync Battle. In the episode she competed against her The Devil Wears Prada co-star Emily Blunt, she lip-synced Love by Mary J. Bleach and Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. Nancy Myers' The Intern was Hathaway's only film work in 2015. The film tells the story of Ben Whitaker, a 70-year-old widower who becomes a senior intern at an online fashion site run by Hathaway's character, Jules Austin. Hathaway aspired to work with De Niro and Myers, her favorite actor and director, respectively, impressed with the film's story, she auditioned for the third time for a Myers film. Reviews for the film were generally positive, one in Ebert's website found her extremely appealing and a reviewer in Vulture wrote the intern gets off on De Niro's amiability and Hathaway's sweet energy. Against a production budget of $35 million, the film grossed $194 million worldwide. The 2015 found footage horror movie Be My Cat, a film for Anne, about a young man in Romania who goes to shocking extremes to convince Hathaway to star in his film, was officially selected and had its North American premiere in April 2016 at the Nashville Film Festival. Footnotes Hathaway reprised the role of the White Queen in Alice Through the Looking Glass, the 2016 sequel to Alice in Wonderland. That March, it was reported that she would reprise her role for The Princess Diaries 3, the project was cancelled after the death of Gary Marshall, who was set to direct the film. Hathaway is one of several actors featured on Barbara Streisand's 2016 album Encore, Movie Partners Sing Broadway. Along with Daisy Ridley, Hathaway and Streisand performed the song at the ballet from a chorus line, Hathaway played the role of Maggie, one of a trio of dancers hoping to be cast in an upcoming show. Her final film that year was alongside Jason Sudeikis in Nacho Vigalondo's science fiction black comedy film Colossal.
Playing an unemployed young writer, Hathaway was the first actress to sign on at a time when the project had no financial backing. She found herself attached to the genre-hopping nature of the script, later comparing it to being John Malkovich, one of her favorite films. The film received positive reviews from critics, but earned only $4 million at the box office. In November 2015, Hathaway joined the ensemble cast of Shane Carruth's third film, The Modern Ocean, alongside Keanu Reeves and Daniel Radcliffe. In August 2016, she signed on to the all-female spin-off of the Ocean's Eleven franchise, titled Ocean's Eight, directed by Gary Ross. She is also slated for Stephen Knight's Serenity alongside Matthew McConaughey and Diane Lane. She will star as the titular character in a live-action film adaptation of the Barbie film series. In 2004, Hathaway began a romantic relationship with Italian real estate developer Raffaello Foglieri. Foglieri's Manhattan-based foundation, established in 2003, focused on efforts such as providing vaccinations for children in poor countries. In June 2008, it was investigated by the IRS, for failure to file required non-profit information forms. In June 2008, Foglieri was arrested on charges of defrauding investors out of millions of dollars in a scheme in which Foglieri posed as the Vatican's point man on real estate investing. It was reported that the FBI confiscated Hathaway's private journals from Foglieri's New York City apartment as part of their ongoing investigation into Foglieri's activities. Hathaway was not charged with any crime. In October 2008, after earlier pleading guilty, Foglieri was sentenced to four and a half years in prison. Hathaway married actor and businessman Adam Shulman on September 29, 2012, in Big Sur, California in a traditional Jewish ceremony. She gave birth to their son in 2016. That year, Hathaway purchased an apartment worth $2.55 million in Upper West Side, a neighborhood in Manhattan where she lives with Shulman and their child. Hathaway and Shulman sold their wedding photo and donated its profits to same-sex marriage advocacy group Freedom to Marry. They also hosted Freedom to Marry's National Engagement Party, an event which raised $500,000. In early 2007, Hathaway spoke of her experiences with depression during her teenage years saying that she eventually overcame the disorder without medication. In 2008, she began smoking after a stressful summer and the end of her relationship with Foglieri. She credited quitting smoking for the subsequent decline in her stress level, and returned to being vegetarian. She later became a vegan in early 2012 but quit while filming Interstellar in August 2014. Hathaway has served as a long-term advocate for the Nike Foundation to raise awareness against child marriage. In July 2006, she spent a week in Nicaragua to help vaccinate children against hepatitis A. She has also traveled to other countries to heed the rights of women and girls, including Kenya and Ethiopia. In 2008, she was honored at Elle magazine's Women in Hollywood tribute, and won an award from the Human Rights Campaign for her philanthropy. She was also honored for her work with Step Up Women's Network in 2008. She then teamed up in 2010 with World Bank in a two-year development program The Girl Effect whose mission focuses on helping empower girls in developing and developed nations where one-third of young women are not employed and not in school. In 2013, she provided the narration for Girl Rising, 
a CNN documentary film, which focused on the power of female education as it followed seven girls around the world who sought to overcome obstacles and follow their dreams. Hathaway currently serves on the board of the Lollipop Theatre Network, and is involved with charities The Creative Coalition, ST. Jude Children's Research Hospital and the Human Rights Campaign. She is a supporter of LGBT rights and has donated money to organizations that support gay marriage. In 2016, Hathaway was appointed UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, and later spoke on International Women's Day in 2017 in favor of paid parental leave for both men and women, and criticized Hollywood for gender inequality. In 2018, she collaborated with 300 women in Hollywood to set up the Time's Up initiative to protect women from harassment and discrimination. John Hiscock of the Daily Telegraph finds Hathaway a well-grounded, friendly young woman with a good sense of humor, a wide smile and an easy-going attitude. He says that despite considerable success Hathaway has never gone Hollywood, staying close to her friends. The authors of the book 365 Style note Hathaway's Girl Next Door image and Nancy Myers says she is wise beyond her years. Laura Brown in Harper's Bazaar considers her to be a sincere, warm, and funny woman. After her Golden Globe acceptance speech for Les Miserables, members of the media began to dismiss her as too actress Y, overeager, and inauthentic. Addressing this, Hathaway said in 2014 that she feels anxious speaking to the public, but has since grown from it and become a more compassionate person. Regarding her perceived image, she says, People have this idea of me as just being a very prim, professional girl, which I suppose I am, but I do cut loose and have fun in my life. Hathaway is one of the most accomplished actresses of her generation. In a review of her work in Twelfth Night, Charles Isherwood wrote, On screen or on stage Ms. Hathaway possesses the unmistakable glow of a natural star. Describing her career in 2015, Hathaway said that after her breakthrough in The Princess Diaries, she struggled to find serious roles or ones that were not about princesses. According to Judy Guglielmi of People, Hathaway used this fear of being typecast as motivation to build a versatile body of work. Guglielmi believes that Hathaway's ability to extensively research her roles is the key to her success. A writer for the Daily Telegraph commends her willingness to appear in different genres, ranging from action comedies to dramas. Hathaway aspires to appear in many different films, work with different directors and play diverse roles. She says she would be lost without acting and feels lucky to have found it as her profession. A trained stage actress, she prefers performing on stage to film roles, and claims to be terrified of acting in front of camera. I always assume that every film is my last, and I always assume that I have to go out and convince everybody why they have to hire me. I still audition, she explains. Forbes reported Hathaway as one of the highest paid actresses of 2015, and since 2017 she is among the highest grossing actresses of the 21st century. In 2009, Hathaway was included in Forbes' annual list of Celebrity 100 with earnings of $7 million, and was invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Analyzing her earnings in 2010, the magazine included her in Hollywood's Best Actors for the Buck, the highest return profit among actresses. As of October 2017, her films have grossed $6.4 billion worldwide. Profiled as among the world's leading actresses by Vanity Fair, Hathaway, 
according to Catherine Ellsworth of the Daily Telegraph, is pursued both by directors and cosmetics companies. In January 2008, she joined French luxury perfumes and cosmetics house Lancome as the face of their fragrance Magnifique. In 2011, Hathaway became the new face of the Italian company Todd's. Hathaway's sex appeal has been picked up by several media outlets, FHM, People, Ask Men, Maxim, Empire, and Entertainment Weekly have included her in their yearly lists of sexiest women. In 2011, Los Angeles Times Magazine listed her as one of the 50 most beautiful women in film. Ellsworth calls her the hottest young actress in Hollywood. Hathaway disagrees, insisting that she has a good girl image and no sex appeal. She has refused to undergo Botox, saying that she is comfortable in her own skin. Hathaway's most acclaimed and highest grossing films, according to the online portal Box Office Mojo and the review aggregate site Rotten Tomatoes, include The Princess Diaries, Brokeback Mountain, The Devil Wears Prada, Get Smart, Rachel Getting Married, Valentine's Day, Alice in Wonderland, Love and Other Drugs, The Dark Knight Rises, Les Miserables, Interstellar and The Intern. Hathaway has been nominated for two Academy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, and a British Academy Film Award. She has won an Academy, a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild and a BAFTA Award for Best Supporting Actress for Les Miserables. She has also won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Voiceover Performance for her voice role in a 2010 episode of The Simpsons.